Yeah, I in Jeremy's bag. We don't need forks, do we? You never know what we might need to use. Day one of the travel adventures in the woods. We've been walking for about three hours. Oh, oh, oh! Oh no! Already fell. Our, our first injury. Our fearless videographer is down. Oh. Oh no! Another one! <laughs> another, another fatality! He's good. This is the life of a vlogger, eh? I'm gonna fall. Oh. We Man, gotta have a count. Are... Okay, Ellie, oh, you're we... gonna have to keep on moving there. So, we need an area that's flat, clear. We need something where we can put two trees that are close enough together to put a stick across to build a shelter over. And we'll circle the fort after that. What? Are you just keeping that camera rolling? Yeah. Oh, no way! And a journey isn't for the faint of heart. But I am the only one that hasn't fallen yet. Those rabbit tracks? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Two back legs, a bunny tail. Yeah. Evergreen? It's good for a toothbrush. Okay. You don't even need toothpaste. No? Just straight minty fresh evergreen breath. Oh, it's kind of cool in there. I'd say this is the spot. This is it. So we're going to clear the branches off these two trees. Then we're going to put a tree across the top. We're gonna do a lean-to facing out this way. We're gonna dig down in the snow, make like a circular pit here. We're gonna put the fire in the front, lean-to in the back, cover it in boughs, set up our beds. Perfect. All right, let's get some trees. Are you good? Yeah. We're just going back out with the woods. We just need a bit more, a bit more firewood for the night. Keep us warm, you know. That's why I got this fur hat. I got from my uh, my great grandfather. He was a great man, and he always told me when I was young, "Keep your ear warm, son." I wasn't his son, but you know what he means. But yeah, isn't that right, Pierce? You just you got to keep the ears warm with the fur hat. Yeah, Jeremy's just he's being friggin' annoying. He's got this stupid Davy Crockett fur hat. We get it, you're in the Navy, but yeah, you got a friggin' pair of camo joggers from Old Navy. I think the place should be named after you. Anyways, so he wears this stupid fur hat and he's like, Oh, your ears warm, mine are warm, I have this fur hat, look at the flaps. And it's like... Dude, like, you can get two out of this guy. Timber. Crunch. Okay. Yeah, I don't know much about Jake, but I just know that he complains a lot about his back and it's kind of, it's just a nuisance really. Cause like we're all working, we're all cutting. I honestly think that I'm doing the most work, but he's just over there, oh my back, take my big ax. But I just got my little one and I'm just going ham. I'm cutting the big trees and it's just not up my alley. I don't want to do that. I'm not out here complaining my back, ow, you know? So just shut up, man. Hey, hey Jer. What? Think that tree's a little too big, bud. No, I got it, man. I got it. My hatchet's... It's just, just... It's like buttered. It, I don't know. It's tough. It's tough to watch, really, it is, because... It's just the way Jeremy swings that little hatchet around, like it's a, the only tool he can use. I know it's the only thing he brought, but... I thought at least when I showed him my big axe, how quickly he could get through a log, I thought maybe he'd switch over, but man, he's dedicated. He wants to prove, prove that he, he has all the tools he needs. And, you know, it's disgusting. It makes me sick. I'm gonna stand in some shelter. Excuse me. Get on. It's going. Oh. There it goes. Oh, there. and there it is. Woo! Oh, no. hey, it's the fall. We've each successfully oh, cut down it. many trees because we're men. That's what men do. Oh. We got fire. We just gotta keep her alive now. Okay, so let's get a big log on there. All right, let's get some wood quick before this thing goes out. For those of you wondering the fall score, I have now fallen three times. Jake has fallen twice. And uh, Jerry over there, we're putting him at about a healthy four. At least. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Should we get delivery out here? Just make sure your delivery guy has snow food. Day one of the no, fort. It it's looking pretty good. This is unreal. We got the stairs here. Take a little step down. Boom. 
foam. We got the fire. We got all our firewood. We got this thing, radiant heat, to us over there in our little shelter. Look at that. The bed. Make some hot dogs and probably head to head to sleep. Yeah. My wiener's bubbling. Which you know what that means. It means one of two things. Your hot dog's done, or you got. Oh, yeah, uh, my hot dog's done, buddy. Oh, oh, can someone open that bag? The boys are sitting here in our lean-to, just cooking hot dogs, living the life. It's currently zero degrees, so we're pretty warm right now. Oh, wow, toasty. And like, did you guys think it would be this, this good? No. no. Yeah, we'll meet you tomorrow morning, the crack of dawn. We're gonna have some good bracky. Yeah. I think the boys are making some hash, so we'll see you in the morning. Welcome to the flavor hood. Who's ready? Who's ready? Yeah, we're gonna get a bite. Oh, oh, the bite. Oh, wow, it's hot on my hands. Yeah, it's pretty freaking hot. <laughs> Not like it was cooking on a fire or anything. Okay, <laughs> First bite. Wow. Mm. Yeah. That's something else. Undercooked bacon. Those potatoes are good, actually. <clears throat> yeah, boys got big plans for today. We're gonna build a big old wall right here and get some more firewood because we were kind of cold last night. But otherwise, I slept pretty good. How'd you guys sleep? Great. Oh, I, slept like I don't know, I smelled something funny and then like I was going in my bag and then there's this big log in there. It's not, it's disgusting. Like it was almost, it was almost liquid. I like, I hate to say it, but it was liquid. Yeah, I in Jeremy's bag. We, we hadn't built a toilet yet and uh, I had to go. So I thought it'd be pretty funny too. Boys, they'll laugh at it someday. I'm pretty disappointed, but you know, what do you do? You can't stop some mid how rude is that? And Jeremy deserves it anyways. We just ate breakfast. Now we are completely out of water, so we're going to go to the river and That's drink delicious. with a life straw. That's it. Actually. Oh my! We're in the river. That's what it feels like to be in a river. I mean, a stream. Nice little uh, drop of dirt on the lens, because uh, nature. Mmm. Oh. Whoa. Well, but that was good. Did you get anything? Yeah. It was worth it. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Rinse her off. We got it. That was some of the best water that I've ever drank. Yeah. Yeah, it's good stuff. Pierce friggin' reeks. After that in Jeremy's bag, I don't know. I don't think he wiped. Maybe he didn't bring another pair of underwear. I don't know what it is, but that guy friggin' stinks right now. All right, so this is the this is Shangri-La, um, nice and packed down from all of our snowshoeing. Um, I got a pair of Sport Mountains 929s. They're pretty good. Yeah, so when we started this trip, Pierce just whips out these green. They're not even that good looking. Like they're these snowshoes. He thinks they're sick. Like I don't know where he got them, online maybe. But he keeps chirping mine and Jake's because we just got like you know a generic brand because. We don't got the money, you know. We're just out here trying to have fun with our friggin' snowshoes and just walking around. And he's just prancing around with his green little snowshoes. Oh, this deflects so much more snow. I'm floating on top. You guys are sinking. Why do you guys keep sinking? Yeah, they're good. You just float on the snow. I, I haven't sank yet. Like, they're, they're yeah, top notch. Um, then, if you look here, we have our stairs down into our... About a... How much? About a three feet drop down to to forest floor 16 by 9 dug out of snow and got all that out of here yeah the dry ground this is my wall going. this is my wall I did most of the work here uh, actually all of it but yeah well actually Pierce put this in but I figure that's probably the least important part of the wall yeah I mean Jake did a, like a lot of research he's like kind of our like our guide guy you know like Parks Canada guide he knows a lot about it. He did the research. He knew to, that we needed to dig a hole in the ground and we had to build a lean-to and stuff like that. But then he kind of just like tells you what to do. But he doesn't, when you're doing it, he's just kind of watching, you know? He's kind of like a, a, a manager. He, uh, he kind of barks orders. Great, smart guy. Knows what to do, but doesn't really do anything, you know? But it's used to uh, deflect heat into the shelter which is key um you know to survival because 
you only have so much heat, right? And it's hard to come by out here. So just gotta make sure you have a wall. Keep it green wood, because you don't want it to burn or catch. It's Jake's wall, super nice wall. Have no complaints there whatsoever. So you come down here and this, this is where you sleep. We each got an inflatable air mattress and then we also got our sleeping bags to sleep in and it's just easy like that. You know, we got the inflatable pillow, that's all you need. And that's where we sleep. Night two, complete, another big day, long day, hard work, the boys are tired, finishing the day off with some pancakes and we're going to bed. Beep. This is it. Last day. Last day. It's all over. We're up now at uh, 7.30 a.m. It is negative five degrees. Camp's packed up. We're all tired and hungry and hungry and tired and this is it. We got a three hour walk back and we're not gonna show you guys that because that's gonna be pretty boring. This is Jake, that's Pierce, and I'm Jeremy. See you later.